Hey guys, it's Mike Lindell from Skip Line. And today we want to take a little time and talk to you about uh, the importance of gun offsets and how to determine those offsets and ultimately how to input those offsets into your SC12 or your MST14 system. So pink gun offsets, bead gun offsets. Um, these are really important. This is what's going to tell the paint gun or the bead gun where it is in relation to other guns on the carriage and you know ultimately when to turn on in the pattern. When we're actually going to go in and figure out where our offsets are and determine those those distances, it's very important that we figure out what our first applicator is. In this document here you see that the air duster is our is our front for this most applicator. We want to treat that as our zero offset in this situation. From there, we would take a tape measure and measure backwards from that air duster. Now, every applicator beyond that air duster is going to have its own assigned offset. As you can see in the document here, we want to take where these applicators are actually hitting the ground. So measure out in front of your air duster just a little ways. This is where we're going to have our zero and then measure backwards from there. So setting your offsets. In order to do that, you wanna go into your timer and if you illuminate the top screen, that's going to get you to your menu selection. We wanna go all the way over to our setup menu and then we're gonna scroll down and over to gun setup. From there, we wanna go down and over until we see our paint gun offsets. This is where we're actually gonna input those figures that we got from the carriage by using your tape measure there and determining where that gun lies in relation to everything else. For this example, we're gonna use our left side. Each one of our front paint guns is gonna be a five inch offset. And you can see that we're adjusting those distances here. We've also got two other guns on this carriage that are gonna be set at seven inches. This is really important because we need to know that that information is accurate so that when we come up on that marking for retrace purposes that we have those figures in place. Um, we can go in and set our bead gun offsets as well. So we'll go ahead and set our front bead guns to 11 and a half inches here. Um, these are gonna be tied to guns one and two. Um, additionally, we'll put offsets in for guns three and four being the guns that were uh, a little further back on the carriage. Here, if you do have a double drop bead, we have the option to go into our tandem settings and actually give an offset for those as well. So any applicator on the carriage which can receive its own offset in relation to everything else. We'll go in, we'll get all of those set up here. And then lastly, we can go over and we'll see the air gun offsets here. And like I said before, we wanna treat this as our zero offset. This is the, fur the furthest forward applicator, okay? So once you have your offset set, if you go in and start to paint, we have zero speed, we're sitting still right now. Guns are waiting for an offset distance. So what that means is none of those applicators are going to turn on outside of air dusters at zero. Um, your paint guns won't turn on until we reach that distance. Um, if you remember, we put a five inch offset in there um, and a seven inch offset for the other guns. So we're actually waiting for the carriage to move that distance prior to those guns firing. Thanks for joining us today. Um, We'll go ahead and we'll recap this with part two of this video where we're actually gonna talk about stripe length correction and our on and off delays. Um, if any of you out there have any questions regarding anything that we covered today in this video, please feel free to reach out to any of us. Um, questions can be directed to sales at skipline.com or you're uh, welcome to call any of our uh, sales or support staff. Um, our phone number here is 541-963-0111. Thanks again, we'll see you next week.